Ty, was there any was there any halftime speech given before that uh, second half? Yeah, a lot of cussing. Was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, you guys ended up getting the win anyways. Um, looking ahead, though, you, you guys face an opponent tomorrow that um, you very well could face a week from now. Um, you haven't seen that this version of this team with Katie, and uh, just curious what your thoughts on them, how they've played, and how you guys kind of match up there. For tomorrow or for the playoffs? For tomorrow. <laughs> um, of course, I mean, any team that acquires KD, um, you know, you have a chance to win it all, and we understand that. And so I think since he played, I mean, they won, they won eight in a row. I think, you know, whatever the record is with him, um, it's phenomenal as well. So we know it's a, you know, it's a tough task. They're a really good team. And so um, we just got to be prepared and ready to go tomorrow, which we will be. What about the playoffs? That I don't know nothing about oh, the playoffs. Okay. Hey, Ty, of all the, <sighs> all the different variables that contribute to what your comfort level is of the team heading into the playoffs, where do you rank avoiding the playing tournament with that? Would I rank with what? Okay, there's, there's so many variables that can contribute to what your comfort level is of the group heading into the playoffs. Where do you rank getting a five, fifth or sixth seed in that whole equation? Uh, I mean, I feel good. I just want to get in. You know, it doesn't matter what seed, you know, I just want to get in and um, have a chance to play in the playoffs again since we missed it last year, you know. And so my main focus is doing whatever we got to do to make it to the playoffs, and um, that's our main focus. To uh, that third quarter, obviously uh, the offense clicked, but uh, you needed to obviously do a lot more in the second half defensively. What was better in the second half on that end compared to the first half? Um, we made some changes on um, – putting Zoo on a different guy and putting Nico on Wofford, who's a, their playmaker and a guy who can catch it in the middle and make plays and he can shoot the three. And so we had to change some matchups. But just the biggest thing, just our mentality, like, you know, um, can't come into a game like we did and play the way we played in the first half. Like, we got to be more professional and more locked in. So I thought in the third quarter we had more of a physicality. I thought Nico's pressure up the floor with Wofford just trying to take him out of, you know, easy catches and pick and rolls being able to switch, I thought really um, helped us out a lot, you know. And so just having a professional mindset that, you know, we're playing for something and we're trying to, you know, do something special. So you can't um, have – first half like that, you know, especially against, you know, I know the, the young team, they play hard, they compete, but we just had to have a different mindset, which we didn't have in that first half. Yes, for sure. Yeah, just um, defensively, be able to get stops, be able to get deflections, you know, rust out in the open court, get into the paint, making the right play. Um, Nico got a few threes uh, because of that, you know, so just our mindset and, and the defensive presence in that third quarter was really good. Tie, tie over here. The, um, I know you weren't happy with the Lakers game about some of the, the defensive mis mistakes that led to points, and then today they scored 70 in the first half. Just what do you make of your defense right now as it's trying to tune up for the Well, playoffs? the playoffs would be different because you can game plan and you can do different things and uh, what you want to take away from a team, you know, which we're pretty good at, you know. But, you know, my biggest thing is just physicality. I think the um, – the breakdowns, um, game plan mistakes, like we got to be better with that, you know, especially going into a playoffs, um, playing these tough teams. And so, you know, we will be better with that. But our mindset, it, you know, it has to start now. Ty, just looking at – over here. <clears throat> Ty, just looking ahead to tomorrow, since it could be a preview of a first-round series, how possible is it that Phoenix could sit down most of their starts like they did yesterday and just looking ahead to you guys, will you have your – Entire roster at your disposal tomorrow. Yeah, I hope they said all five guys: Monty Williams, James Jones. They all sit. It does. Yeah, it don't make me any difference. Just get. <laughs> I take it however I can get it. Will you sit any guys? Tomorrow? No. Okay. How how would you compare and contrast the way that he and Eric play in terms of play styles within your offense? Um, EG's more, you know, spot shooter who can stretch the floor, um, deep range. Also can run some pick and roll and drive closeouts. And Norm's, you know, more so get downhill, get to the basket, attack the rim, get to the free throw line. And so, like I said, having two, um, two guards that do different things um, is good for us. And so they both play a different style of game, which is good. And, Coach, uh, you were able to begin the – right here. Oh. Uh, you, you were able to begin the fourth quarter with Kawhi on the bench, and you guys were able to close the game, didn't have to bring him back in. 
how much confidence did that build for your guys, um, knowing that Kawhi didn't have to come back in and coach, we got this? No, a lot of confidence. And just the biggest thing, just trying to get Kawhi's minutes down, you know, um, along with EG, we try to, you know, tough it out and just try to keep his rhythm, whatever. But um, it was good. Our bench came in and played well in that first half as well. It got us back in the game. Um, we were down, I think, 10 or 11. And then in that second half, like I said, in that fourth quarter, just carrying the team and allowed our starters to get some rest. Ty, all, all, the, all the cussing at halftime, is that just you or is that like Kawhi too? Me. <laughs> I, 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 he might have cussed, but he didn't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Is Russ say anything in those moments? Um, no, Russ was, you know, just in agreement. Like, we got to be more professional, you know, with our approach. And um, we all, you know, realized that that wasn't um, our great first half. We didn't play the right way. And, um, you know, we just can't do that, you know. And so um, they understood. And that's why they came out in the third quarter and, and played the way they did. Coach, uh, I noticed since you guys acquired Bones, uh, He's provided a huge spark off the bench. I'm just curious, um, what's the conversation like with him for his role for the playoffs? Um, just be who he is. And if he's doing too much, I'll let him know. But the biggest thing is be a scorer, um, play with pace, get downhill, take your shots. And, um, you know, if you're doing too much, I'll let you know. But we want you to be you. Don't be on the floor thinking and trying to make plays and trying to be a point guard. Just be a basketball player. And that's what he's done for us. Appreciate you.